Hi Luxurious Queens, welcome back to another Hermes related video in Life with Loki and through the past couple videos I have shared with you my lucky streak in Paris and I seriously did luck out with being successful on my 6th attempt for the Hermes lottery leather appointment and also scoring my dream Birkin. Of course, if you missed those videos, I will link the links down in the description section below and in at the end of this video. Today, I will be debunking 10 myths on scoring a Kelly or Birkin on your Hermes leather appointment from my experience. And of course, you, if you have more myths to be debunked, do send them through in the comment section below and I will answer them all. And of course, if there's too many, I may do a part two. For those of you new here and hoping to get some tips and tricks, hello, my name is Loki and I enjoy chit-chatting and sharing about my Hermes pieces from vintage, pre-loved and brand new. I also will be sharing a lot more about my recent Paris trip and shopping. So if you are into content like this, then I would love for you to subscribe and hit the bell to get updates. Okay, so let's power on. Well, I have decided to make it a bit more interesting. So I have written down the 10 myths and I will do a lucky draw on them. So let's go. All right, so myth number one is, well, do you need a French man to score you a Kelly or Birkin? No, of course not. You do not need a French man to help you score a Kelly or Birkin. Although it will be nice if they can help speak French and articulate better for you, if you can't. Overall, the sales assistants can speak English just as good. Although for some more complex words, um, we, do, we, we took a while to understand each other, but all was good and we figured it out. I feel that the appointment can be a bit stressful and nerve-wracking if you go alone, so it will probably be a good idea to have a good supportive friend come along who knows your style and won't say anything wrong. The timing of the appointment varies by a lot, so having a friend around will definitely help kill the boredom. And question number two. Now, hang on. This is a little bit tricky. All right, do you need, do you need a large pre-span to score you a Kelly or Birkin? Well, from my experience, I spent about 2,000 euros on my first Hermes haul, which I feel isn't a lot, but those were the items I was genuinely interested in and was also on my wish list. Two of which were surprise items, which was the limited edition marble silk scarf and the corset ring, but I love them so much. I feel that some span would be at least required for you to have some relationship at the boutique and of course to familiarize yourself with Hermes and at least appreciate their craft. A large pre-span would definitely be an individual choice as some people do have a longer wish list and if the items fits your aesthetic then I would say go for it. However, I will not expect a definite Kelly or Birkin at the end of a large pre-span but some span is definitely required. Alright, question number three is... Well... Question number three, will begging for an appointment score you a Kelly or Birkin? Hmm, my gut feeling is no, no and no. Begging or haggling an SA for an appointment is a very sorry sight and I do understand some people head to Paris with the sole intention of scoring a quota bag. I can feel for them and although Hermes is a very beautiful store with lots of eye candies, if you're into bags, colours and leathers, but there is so much more to explore in Paris. If you casually ask your SA and an appointment is offered, then that will be nice, but I would never beg or be desperate for an appointment. I think it is all fated, and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. After all, scoring a leather appointment does not mean that you will naturally score a Kelly or Birkin. Now, um, question number four would be, the next one would be so does 
First in, best dressed, score you a Kelly or Birkin. Hmm. Well, from personal experience, my appointment was initially set at 3.35 p.m. and throughout the afternoon, it kept getting delayed till 6.15 p.m. Do note that the store closes at 6.30 and I managed to score my dream Birkin at effectively the last appointment of the day. In fact, I think I was the last customer in store to pay and the last customer for the day. So my conclusion is first in best dress does not confirm a Kelly or Birkin score and similarly the last appointment does not mean there are no more bags. It also depends on when the stocks arrive which I don't know either. So my answer is first in best dress may not score you a Kelly or Birkin but if you do have a leather appointment congratulations and just go and try your best and ask. And Question number five is da, da, da. This is just taking too long Okay, number five is Do you need to know your Hermes colours and leathers? Hmm, good question Let me take my break in Well, for a start, on your leather appointment The SA will ask you a very straightforward question So, what bag are you after? By now, you should have a rough idea of your dream bag, be it a Kelly, a Birkin or any leather Hermes bag. I have been um, reading quite a bit about Hermes over the last few years since um, uh, it piqued my interest. So it came quite natural for me and it was easy to carry on a conversation talking about leathers and uh, colours. But if you're new to this, learning some colours, leathers, hardware and sizes will definitely help you articulate your request clearly and also to help your SA find the matching bag for you. So effectively, if you kind of help them help you, um, it will be a win-win situation. I can understand that the more popular bag colours are a crop favourite and very commonly found in YouTube unboxings. Hence, it may seem like we are all singing the same tune when we turn up at the appointment. Truth be told, I too did mention about the tool Itan Gold on Gold during my appointment. But then, what happens if these colors are not available? Would you know any other colors um, the SA can help you with? I think it is also nice familiarizing yourself with backup secondary colors just in case your first choice doesn't work out. Now, size wise, it is not easy to talk about sizes if you have not owned a Kelly or Birkin before. However, on the first floor of the boutique, there are floor-to-ceiling glass displays of bags which have Kellys and Birkins in all sizes and can give you a rough idea of the size. Uh, what you have, uh, well, overall, I feel that it is not an exam. The SA is not grilling you for what you have learned, but just trying to help you realize your MS bag dream. So really, just take a chill pill if you... If your mind is blank and in your own words, try to describe your dream bag and colour. And question number six is... Ta -ta -ta. Now, can you get Air Kelly and Birkin in one leather appointment? Well, my, for my leather appointment, it was one leather bag per appointment. I can't speak for other SAs, past and present, who may have offered more than one bag in a leather appointment, but I would, I would consider that a, a bucket of lucky stars raining right on you if you did score two bags in one appointment. As we all know, there is a limit to the production of the number of Hermes leather bags per year as it is both labour and time intensive. So I would imagine to create a fair system limiting the quota bags to two bags per year and limiting the number of leather bags one can buy at an appointment is quite reasonable. Of course, I have seen on YouTube a few anomalies of situations where straight up two quota bags are offered plus an extra non-quota bag. Look, there are, these are probably during periods of the pandemic where tourists and customers were low and stocked in abundance. So in that scenario, it may really be a one-off episode, all right? And next would be question number seven. We're almost there, guys. Hang in there. 
So question number seven is, can the store be sold out of Kelly's and Birkins? No, of course not. The luxury house of Hermes is known for its leather craft, innovation and technology. They take pride in their leather craft to last us a lifetime, which is why they can confidently keep selling the same Birkins and Kelly's over the last century and still we never get bored of them. I'm not sure if their leather appointment system is tied to uh, the store inventory because that would make so much more sense that people rock, who rock up don't um, who rock up to their leather appointment don't get told off that they are sold out of bags because that will be quite disappointing. On the first floor of display, on the first floor of the boutique, there are display shelves and there are many Kellys and Birkins on display, but those are for display purposes only and not for sale although some of them are reserved and on the display shelves. So in my opinion, when some ladies are told that there are no Kellys or Birkins, it actually means that there isn't one for you or that there isn't one that suits your preference. Let's say if we put ourselves in the shoes of the Hermes SA, if the customer um, is not interested in say a purple Birkin, I would rather keep that purple Birkin in my store until the right customer comes along and appreciates a purple Birkin. So it doesn't mean that there are no Kelly or Birkins in the store, it's just that there just isn't one for you. And question number eight. All right. So can you score a Kelly or Birkin at the last appointment of the day? Of course, queens, don't be discouraged that Hermes is going to sell out of bags at the end of the day. Well, if anything to prove you wrong, my leather appointment got pushed to the end of the day at 6.15, which is literally 15 minutes before the store closes. Initially, I was quite discouraged, and but I still turned up to the appointment bright-eyed because it is my second time visiting FSH and my first time at this leather appointment. If um, anything, I was more than prepared to go home empty-handed and perhaps tell my tale over YouTube. But the first-hand experience would mean everything to me. Like what I said, I have confidence that the store has Kelly's and Birkins. It is just a matter of the right time, right place, right request. Sometimes, I know this colour or shape is quite sought after and coincidentally, it's my dream bag. I mean, I was asked what bag I was after, so I genuinely told the SA my preference. But I think I really had a bit of luck on my side as well. Alright, so next would be question number 9. And lucky number 9. Let's see what number 9 is. Okay, so do you need to dress branded to score a Kelly or Birkin. Nope, you don't need to dress to impress and certainly you don't need anything branded. Dress decent to the appointment, not shabby. Be classy in your appearance, your mannerism, your words because those are traits that are pleasant. And SAs are humans too and naturally people are more willing to help somebody who is pleasant. I feel that branded items are easy to come by and anybody with money can easily dress themselves with it. For myself, I present myself like how I do on YouTube. Of course, because I am, I'm on vacation, I tend to be a bit more conservatively dressed in jeans and a total neck top. And because um, we plan to walk a lot, I wear sports shoes, which are quite ugly to the appointment. Nothing wrong about that. And I know fashion-wise, it is ugly but comfortable and comfort is important to me. Ultimately, be yourself, be natural, and be comfortable. Now, question number 10, and the very last myth we're going to debunk is, sorry guys, it's so windy outside, you hear all the trees. Uh, do you need to carry an Hermes bag to score a Kelly or Birkin? Well, there's no hard and fast rule about this. I carried my Uakua Birkin because I was hoping to ask the, S the leather SA about Hermes restoration and spa process for that bag, which we will discuss my, prefer my experience another day. So for me, it was the convenience that the bag came with me. But I must say that the leather SA did notice my bag and knew that I am not new to the Kelly or Birkin. 
I think it was also nice to show that I appreciate their bags, I treasure them and most importantly, I use them. Of course, if you don't own an Hermes bag, don't stress. I would think any other brand would do to match your outfit. The leather SAs are certainly very understanding and they are well aware that people who come through the leather appointment are there to score their first Kelly or Birkin. Well, that comes to the end of today's video on debunking the 10 myths on scoring a Kelly or Birkin on your leather appointment. I hope you provided a little insight and a ray of hope in your upcoming appointment and I really wish somebody did a video like this to calm my nerves for me. Keep trying, don't give up and good luck queens. I hope you subscribe if you enjoyed content like this because it will help my channel grow and reach out to a few more luxury bag lovers. Do hit that bell and the like button to keep updated when I upload. Take care queens!